students, my name is Shaima, and I will be reading Dragons by T. Albert. Here are some fun facts about dragons before we start reading. In Greek, dragon means a huge snake or a water snake. A dragon is an imaginary animal. There are many popular stories about dragons in all countries all over the world. In most European stories, dragons are evil creatures. But in Chinese folk tales, are mostly about kind and helpful dragons. Chinese dragons. The Chinese love dragons. They believe that the dragon is a powerful and wise and brings good luck. There are many temples built to honor the dragons in China. Chinese dragons are snake-like. Wingless animals with four legs and five claws on each leg. According to stories, Chinese dragons have a magical pearl which gives them the power to fly and go into heaven. The Chinese believe that the dragons control water, rainfall, hurricane, and flood. Korean dragons. Korean dragons are the most kind-hearted of all the dragons. A Korean dragon is a snake-like wingless animal with long beard. A Korean dragon has four legs with four claws on each leg. In Korean stories, dragons are water animals which control water and farming. Japanese dragons. Japanese dragons are large, wingless, snake-like animals with three claws on each foot. Japanese believe that dragons are water animals that control rainfall and water. According to the Japanese stories, dragons are first born in Japan. Dragons are very popular in Japan and are used a lot in art, music, and architecture. Indian dragons. Indian dragons are wingless animals that are half snake and half humans. Indian dragons are called nagas. And are said to live in an underground kingdom. In Indian stories, nagas are found in rivers, lakes, and seas, and they are believed to be guardians of the great treasures. Filipino dragons. The Filipino dragon is called a bakuna, which also means moon eater, according to the ancient story in Philippines. Bakunawa is a snake-like dragon with whiskers, two pairs of wings, a red tongue, and a mouth as big as a lake. In the story, the Bakunawa lived in the sea and would rise out of the water into the sky and eat the moon. Thus, the Filipino dragons were believed to be the cause of eclipse. Welsh dragons. The flag of Wales has red dragon in a green and a white field. The flag tells the story of a red dragon which had saved Wales from the icy white dragon, but died after the fight. The Welsh flag was made to honor the red dragon and remember him forever. The Greek dragons. The most famous Greek dragons was the Hydra. Which was killed by the Greek hero Hercules. The Hydra was a nine-headed snake-like water dragon with poisonous breath and blood. It had the power of regeneration. It grew two new heads for the, each head that was cut off. In this Greek story, the dragon was killed by Hercules, who burnt its neck stumps to stop any new heads from growing. English dragons. The most English stories dragons were even animals. They lived in dark caves, guarded great treasures, and fought with the English knights. English dragons have four powerful legs and claws, scales on its body, huge wings, and sharp tail. They have fangs, poisonous breath, and breathe fire. Russian dragons. In Russia, a dragon was believed to have three heads, which could grow back. If cut off, in popular Russian stories, dragons were green, walked onto two back paws, had small front paws, and breathed fire. Scandinavian dragons. The most evil amongst all dragons is the Scandinavian dragon, Nidhi Hog, 
He is a huge multicolored wingless dragon who lives underground. In the Norse story, this 30 foot snake like dragon keeps eating the root of the world tree Yggdrasil. This is dangerous for Earth because this is the tree that keeps the universe safe. Bothanese dragons. The Dirk is the thunder dragon of Bothanese stories. This dragon is the national symbol of Bothan. The thunder dragon is a giant snake-like wingless animal with four legs and scales on its body. The flag of Bothan has a Dirk and the Bothanese people call the country Dirkjul, land of Dirk. Thank you for listening to the Storybooks Dragons.